Shalom, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai Brak FM. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. I want to say double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect out there. Um, I'm the brother Shaman, and today I just want to get into the topic of, you know, there was a brief period where the elders and a whole bunch of brothers were doing showing health and stuff like that. And I just want to open up with the scripture, right? And I'm going to use the my sword app. You can't see it from there. But you know, we did it, we did like a lesson on it on the my sword app. And um, this is Job 13 and 4. But ye are forgers of lies, ye are physicians of no value. Now that scripture is basically going into the pharmaceutical industry uh, industry and how you know you might go to a pharmacy, one of these doctors, and they can't do shit for you. You know, um, we're gonna actually use the my sword app and we're gonna go into the word physician, and the word for physician there is a pa, which means to heal, you know. So these people, these uh, doctors out there aren't gonna heal you. So um, we gotta be our own healers. And through the spirit, man, I just feel like doing a new series on that. Like, um, I hope it edifies and, you know, just knocking out some of the biggest myths out there that's pushed out by the pharmaceutical industry. Because I am aware that we are uh, living in Ezekiel, the fourth chapter, where all this shit is pretty much defiled, no matter what you do. But um, I just wanna share some value for, uh, val valuable information with you brothers out there concerning you know, certain things that you probably just should avoid from putting in your body. And um, I'm just gonna be trying to knock out like different myths. You know, and low willing, this could be ongoing, you know. And um, the first one I definitely wanna start to talk about is carbohydrates. Um, we consume way too much carbohydrates. Like, it's in, a, it's in your fast food, it's in, it's in pretty much a lot of things you eat. Um, carbohydrates basically is uh, sugar. You know, they used to break down carbohydrates in the terms of simple sugars and complex sugars. Um, but you know, complex sugars, you know, is made up of more like, you know, like, uh, like you say three, three or more sugars, you know, simple sugars like monosaccharides or disaccharides are made up of what one or two sugars. So those are stuff that's, that your body burns right away. So examples of sim simple sugars would be like, uh, straight up just sh uh, table sugar or, um, let's see, what's another form of sugar, uh, fructose, you know, you could get that in fruit, which your body just uses right away. Then you have complex sugars which is like, uh, you know, tri trisaccharides, you know, more sugars combined. But the thing with using simple and complex, it doesn't really help because you have stuff like white bread, which uh, white bread is uh, a complex uh, carbohydrate, complex sugar, but your body burns um, white bread right away. So the thing to really go by is the new thing they do now is called glycemic index. And the glycemic index, uh, it kind of rates what foods, uh, carbohydrates, how it affects your blood sugar. Now, the reason I wanted to do this show is because a lot of us, a lot of you brothers, um, we consume way, way too much uh, carbohydrates. And when you do that, when you consume carbohydrates, um, what happens is the pancreas um, produces insulin, you know? And um, when your insulin spikes, um, it gives you like this, you know, like this boost of energy. The thing is, a lot of the time, unless you're a professional athlete, you're not gonna utilize all that carbohydrates, you know? And you got a lot of people saying, you know what, I'm gonna do a high carb, low fat diet to burn fat. But the, the, tr the truth is, to burn fat, really, when you, really what you wanna do is be on a ketogenic diet or something called nutritional ketosis. Now, nutritional ketosis is um, where you consume a lot of fat, um, protein, and minimal carbohydrates. Um, most doctors will tell you that if you on a ketogenic diet, you'll get uh, something called ketoacidosis, which is um your body becomes too acidic from all the ketones now ketones um are fats you know so fats are acidic in nature that's true but the thing with ketones now is when your body uses ketones instead of glucose it's just way better like i've been using ketosis and uh, i've been doing a ketogenic diet and when the good thing about a ketogenic diet is you don't have to do any cardio man because your body your body's gonna naturally want to burn fat. You know, your battery, your battery does naturally want to burn fat. You know, you got people working out and doing all this cardio, but the thing is they consume way too much carbohydrates. Now the thing with carbohydrates is, for you to burn carbohydrates to get it fully out your system before you start burning fat, it takes about 12 hours. You know, so just, just try to put that in perspective. Unless you're a natural athlete, or like, like a professional athlete, you're not gonna really, you know what I mean, get to that fat stores until extreme exercise. Now, it's not only for aesthetic purpose, as opposed to like looking good and all that, but it's just it's just what insulin does to you. You know, insulin is, insulin insulin regulates fats, it regulates blood sugar, but when, when you keep consuming all these uh, carbohydrates, it can lead to type two diabetes, which is, which is about what? Um, 
All right, so out of 100 people, 90 to 95 percent have type 2 diabetes, and then 5 percent, you know, 5 to 10 of them have type 1 diabetes. Now, type 2 diabetes is sweeping America by storm. Type 2 diabetes is when your pancreas doesn't know how to regulate insulin, doesn't know what to do with it because you're consuming way too much. Um, it, it's being overworked. It's producing too much insulin to the point that you become insulin resistant. Um, and the problem with that is carbohydrates. You know what I mean? We, we, we're just consuming too much of it. You know, like the reason that the, the um, these people push this out basically e to kill you because if you look at the food pyramid they'll have grains whole grains at the bottom which should be a bulk of your diet then they'll have um meats and then they'll have fats which truly it should be the other way around because you have something called the uh seven country study when they came up with this food pyramid but the food pyramid is really a scheme on a scam by the big companies because carbohydrate sugar is going to increase um diabetes is going to increase obesity but it's also addictive all right now the main thing I'll say to avoid when you're trying to cut carbs is you brothers, we just got to stop eating wheat because wheat contains something called glutomorphin, right? I'm, I'm not putting out a lot of information real quick, but wheat contains something called glutomorphin. Now, prior to the 1960s, wheat was okay, but after the 1960s, it became transmugetic, meaning that the wheat that we eat now is not even natural wheat. And a part of the protein in that wheat is something called glutomorphin. Now, glutomorphin, glutomorphin anytime you see morphin, it means something addictive, you know what I mean? And everything you see, what, bread this, bread that, bread, 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 you know, and all you're doing right there is spiking your insulin, and, and anytime you, insulin is basically responsible for age, you know, so you see a lot of people that they live long, a lot of times they do a lot of intermittent fasting and they just avoid carbohydrates all too completely, you know? Another important fact is carbohydrates is not an essential nutrient, you know, you don't need sugar to live, you know, your body will use other forms of uh, energy mainly it wants to use fat so the myth that i want to bust is oh let's have a high carb diet uh carbs give you energy which carbohydrate sugar does give you energy but in the long term it's gonna it's gonna pretty much fuck you up that's how come you see a lot of americans they might look slim but they all have that belly the the, the belly is because when you're getting all this insulin all this all, all this sugar that's raising your insulin your body starts to store that energy and um your fat stores just build up and up and you keep peaking your insulin, peaking your insulin and y your body just keeps storing all that, that, that sugar as fat and what you're doing is just fucking up your pancreas and it's going to lead to a, um, a lot of different diseases. Now this is done by design, you know, um, th this is done by design. It's all a marketing tactic um, to, to, to slowly kill off our people. That's how come you see obesity raising because everything you see is all about sugar. Eat this, that, that. Everything is sugar, 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 sugar. That's that's pretty much the American diet. What I would recommend you brothers eat now is uh, a lot of fats, man. Try to get, try to get uh, a lot of salmon. Try to get a lot of avocado. Try to make fat your primary fuel source, um, so your body can start getting this in a state of wanting to burn fat. When you start to do that, you don't really have to do much cardio. You know what I mean? You you just want your primary source of energy to be, to be fat, not only to be like you know to, to look aesthetic and, and cut down on your weight and all that stuff. But just for your overall health to overall heal you, you know, because when the scripture says that they've become physician of no value, meaning these they, they don't heal you, man. They just treat you, all right, because there's no money or profit in healing someone. So they just try to treat you for a prolonged period of time. Um, um, I mean, this is just a brief, um, brief uh, overview of it. Um, it's just, it's just starting up this series. I, mean, I, I want to go into more stuff because I've been getting a lot of information. Uh, I want to do something on intermediate fasting, which I really recommend for you brothers, which is different from when you're on a spiritual fast to the Lord, you know? Um, but yeah, brothers, please look into carbohydrates and, and, and sugars and, and what it's doing to your body. Just because you look skinny doesn't necessarily mean, you know, you, your body's in a proper state of well-being, you know? Um, so again, try to, the foods that I say to uh, um, address to avoid, is uh, stuff high in the glycemic index. So avoid starchy fruits like bananas and and oranges and and um all those all those fruits are very high in sugar. Carrots, you know, yeah, they're good for you in, in the terms of they have beta carotene and different um um antioxidants. But when you start to fuck up your body with too much sugar, your body can't really util utilize those um antioxidants. The fruits I recommend is stuff that are bitter, you know, like grapes. Um, but mainly berries, you know, berries, cherries, raspberries. Again, you could also you could also check the glycemic index of any fruit and food you eat online, and also something called a glycemic load. So you know what I recommend is what berries or cherries for for um, fruits, 
and avoid all kind of fruits that's high in sugar like pineapple and such and watermelon um try to you know try to really get your body in a state of low carb at first you're gonna it's gonna get weird you're gonna feel a little fatigued but after your body get used to it you won't have to do all this strenuous exercise your body will naturally burn fat you'll get your uh, insulin levels you want your insulin level to be normal and flat you don't want to keep spiking it spiking it spiking it and all that stuff so um yeah, you know, and uh, foods I recommend. I recommend avocado. I recommend salmon because salmon is loaded with omega threes. Um, in fact, the Eskimos, um, which are people, um, they they eat nothing but salmon, and, and their cholesterol is fine. Because another myth they'll say is that um, eating all these fats will raise your cholesterol, which that's true. But cholesterol isn't necessarily bad as Esau make it seem. You know, your body your body produces its own cholesterol, and there's no proven evidence that fat has a di direct relationship with uh, heart disease, you know, because that's what they'll say. You know, that's another thing I want to touch on too, but at uh, another, another time. Um, so, I mean, I hope this uh, lesson was helpful. Um, again, brothers, try to get in, try to look up something called nutritional ketosis, um, high fats, proteins, extremely low carbohydrates. If you're going to have carbohydrates, I suggest you get it from dark, leafy greens, you know, um, st stuff like cilantro, parsley, um, arugula. Try to get your carbohydrates, carbohydrates from those, and um, I, I, I eat oatmeal too. But if you're gonna have oatmeal, make sure it's like a half a cup, and um, add a lot of uh, ground cinnamon because ground cinnamon, ground cinnamon will regulate your blood sugar levels. So um, again, this 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 thing, the the the, the, the blood sugar is, is very important, man. That, like I said, type two diabetes is killing us like crazy right now, and that's because you know the farm, um, these industries that ESO created. Um, it's just everything is high processed food and high processed, the more processed the food is, the more, um, the more, um, quicker your body turns it into sugar, you know, uh, to, in terms of carbohydrates. And, um, uh, one more thing with the oats, if you're going to have oats, I'll recommend rolled oats. Um, steel cut oats are, are better because it's less processed, but it takes too long to cook. So, I mean, rolled oats will be fine. Try also to look into, um, the glycemic index, you know, so that, that was just another myth that we want to knock out and you know the myth of high carbs and I'm gonna take all these carbs and be like you know 200 and something pounds which is true you put on a lot of muscles on um, eating the carbohydrates because those carbohydrates will fulfill your muscle but there's a lot more going on than just fueling your muscle you're, you're, you're slowly fucking up your pancreas pancreas you're, you're um, creating something called insulin resistance and um, it's just very harmful to your body um, so you know a lot of brothers that's going through illnesses and sicknesses try to switch over to a ketogenic diet um, I'm, if you have any questions, because I, I know this, sh this show is kind of, you know, being stretched out a little bit. I, I didn't plan on doing it this long. I was planning on being brief. But if you have any, have any questions, you know, I'm, you know, I'm definitely trying to reply to them on the comment board. And um, I hope this was edifying, you know. And um, I'm going to, you know, through the spirit, we're going to try to be our own healers and, and break all the myths and bullshit that Esau puts out there in terms of our nutrition and health. So with that, you know, I hope your brothers were edified. And, um... I want to say Shalom and soon we'll be out of here a little bit, so you know pretty much will be irrelevant but until now you know we're just going to try to put out some educational uh, educational information concerning um, the body and health. Alright, Shalom. <laughs>